Hi, my name is Sneaky from Cloud9, and this is my basic champ guide to Jin. So his laning phase is pretty strong. It's a little weird to get used to. Uh, a lot of it's just playing around how many bullets you have. So you're going to want to... I think you want to shoot the backline minions a few times if the animated carry is not punishing you for it. Get him a little bit low, and then make it so it's going to kill one, and then bounce the others and hit the enemy AD carry. It's, it's weird to listen to that. But when you actually try it in game, it's a really nice combo because it kills one of the minions, then it does tons of extra damage to the other ones, and then it also hits the AD carry. It's not that actually hard to set up, just because how many free hits you can get off on the range minions. So it's it's really nice tool for harassing. And then usually on your fourth shot, on your fourth shot, you want to try and zone the enemy. You can walk forward. Don't walk into the enemy support and get CC'd, but you can walk forward enough just to go for the quick fourth hit if they're out of position. And if you can, try and throw your Q at the same time because it'll just be a nice burst combo. No one can really outrage you if you're hitting with the fourth hit, getting the move speed to get away, and throwing your grenade at them. But besides that, going for autos into Ws isn't bad. Uh, you just have to be careful of your positioning because a lot of times the jungler can gank you if you get caught up by the support when you're trying to harass like that. But uh, there's also the traps that are going to help you out. I think right when you hit level 3, you want to just start throwing your traps in the river as much as you can. Not far in the river, but like near the little bush in river and just to the sides of it. Just holding the entrance, basically. I don't think you want to run to try if you're on blue side and just dome in there. That's a little bit too far. You just kind of want to keep them around you so you can actually be aware of them and then throw down the W if they ever try and step on them. Because if they try and just knock your traps out immediately, you can throw a W and catch them off guard. And it does like 200 damage early game. Pretty insane. So it's... A strong combo, and then generally, if say you're landing with like a Morgana or something as Jin, if they ever land a bind, you just want to throw down your E immediately, and then try and combo your W so that the bind, when the bind ends, your W is going to root them, and you can just get a few hits off on them. But generally, you don't want to be all inning in lane phase. It's kind of just a poke lane. I mean, you're not, you're not exactly poke. You're kind of just like small trades and get out kind of champion. So you, you always have to remember that and not just go for like the full all engine because I've done it a few times early on when I was playing them where I feel like I can kill them because they're so low and I just run out of bullets and I'm sitting there reloading my support dies and then the AD carry like flashes out or something or I get CC'd it just ends tragically so be careful of what you're doing in Jin early on. For team fighting on Jin, for the most part you want to stay f as far back as possible. You don't really want to be running up to the enemy to carry if they're getting CC'd and throwing down your E. If you have your fourth shot, you can go ahead and try and pop them if they're out of position, but generally you just want to stay back. Uh, sometimes you can start off fights, though, with uh, being far out. Like, say they're AD carry or some, some of their backliners got low. It's If you can get a good angle, you can go for the ulti, but generally you want to kind of save that for the cleanup. It's not like you'll always get a cleanup with your ulti, but... It's generally going to be better because if you're in a t the start of the team fight and you're trying to throw your ulti down, it's not really going to damage anyone besides the low guy. It's almost always better to try and use your ulti as like the finisher of a fight rather than the starter. The only time I'd ever do it as a starter for uh, Jin Zul is if you're trying to catch someone out to start a team fight. Like say they're AD carry, he's farming bot and your whole team's collapsing on him and he might be able to get away. You just throw your ulti down and you can start slowing him for 80%. That's the only time I'd really use it to slow someone down. Uh, but generally, just throw down your traps whenever they're CC. You can just throw them around when the fight's happening. It'll just create zones that they're going to have to be wary of. Otherwise, they just take tons of free damage. Uh, save your W for when people are actually CC'd, if your team has CC. Because otherwise, if you just try and throw your W out really nilly, then it's just going to miss. And you're not going to have as much effect on it. But if you wait for someone else to throw something, like a slow, a root, any sort of CC, then it'll guaranteed land. Uh, but besides that, just hit the front line, throw your Q out, like throw your autos. It's pretty simple besides that. So a tip for Jin I have is when you're trying to escape someone, like say they're ADK and sports getting on top of you, I didn't really recognize this at first, but if you can hit your W on them, it roots them and speeds you up, which is really nice for escaping because generally the W takes a decent amount of time to actually cast, but since it actually speeds you up, like the same move speed you get from critting, and roots them in place, it, I think it'll actually save you in most cases. So remember to do that, and that's basically your only escape besides your traps that you've already set up, because you can't throw them really, you can't really throw them down in combat as nearly easy as you can try and root someone. So I got a few tips about uh, Jin's ult. There's a few interesting things. The first one is you can blue orb when you're already ulted, like, You've already shot one. You can throw it on your blue orb to help you give vision. It's pretty good for dark areas in the case that you missed your first shot. You don't know where he is. You can throw it on your blue orb. Uh, second one is when you're gunning for the ult, 
you generally want them not on the edge because it's pretty hard to see them on the edge. Like it's actually the very end of your screen, so you can barely see them and they can just run out of it easily. So before you even start your ult, make sure they're not just on the absolute edge. Like make sure they're around the middle, like maybe nearing away, like depending on their HP, if they can just run out of it or not. So it's not totally wasted. And then another one is in between each shot, you don't have to fire immediately. Like you can actually mind gaming mind game the enemy by putting them they can run themselves into a bad spot just by you waiting out your ulti so like say you shoot the first shot and you hit and then they're juking and they end up juking themselves into a corner and then you can fire like all four of your shots or all three of your extra shots right after that but obviously it's not only with the first one it's just every single shot like you can just kind of read how they're moving even if you don't hit one and you can help understand them and help you get the kill that way it's kind of like a rule for all skill shots but Jin's especially since it's got four bullets and you're usually going to kill someone if you're ulting them and they're gonna in the low so for Jin's runes uh it's a little bit different just because of the way his auto attacks and everything scales so Jin gets extra AD based off attack speed, but it's just a little bit worse than uh, just going flat AD. So for Jin, I go 15 AD, 12 MR, 9 uh, armor, which basically just gives the best early game. There's there's another option that I tried. It was life sequence. It didn't feel nearly as good as just straight AD. And then attack speed just feels worse than flat AD just because it's the if flat AD is better early game. And the attack speed, I don't even think ever gets really that much better than attack speed. Or uh, the nitty, it just becomes about even and maybe super late game when you have full build, it's a little bit more AD. So the fight AD quints are the best. So masteries for Jin are also a bit different than every other AD carry. Uh, you go, okay, you go 18 ferocity, 12 cunning, which isn't that abnormal because most AD carries nowadays you take forever, but you're going to be taking Warlord's Bloodlust, which is the biggest difference here. Uh, Jin can't really take advantage of Fervor, it's pretty bad on him. Deathfire's touch is okay at best, the issue is all of his abilities are AoE, they count as AoE, so they all do half damage. So it's 60% bonus AD, and you have to half that because of the way it works with AoE effects. So it doesn't actually do that much damage until super late game, and then even Warlord's Bloodlust does a ton of damage late game, because the attack speed you get 4 seconds after you crit turns into AD, which is just very good damage, and it, it works early game, it works Every, every four hit early game, which is even required to have crit chance at all. So it's overall just the best mastery. I've tried Thunderlord uh, and Storm Raiders. Those are both just strictly worse. Uh, Thunderlord wasn't bad, but Warlord's sustain early game and extra damage throughout the entire game is just unmatched basically here in the masteries. And then everything else is pretty normal. Dangerous game, secret stash, like nothing new here. So for skill order, uh, I start out with Q level 1. The other abilities aren't that good. The traps, like, you're usually going to start a neutral camp, so the traps are pretty bad for that. And then W doesn't really do anything level 1 because it's just hard to set up. And the grenade helps uh, weave clear, so Q level one's good. You max Q overall, should get 5 points in it by 9. And then uh, for level 2, you'll get W, I think is the best. You could go trap here in case you really think you're going to get ganked, but I think it's generally better to have the W. You can uh, help follow up your support with some more pressure or even just root them yourself then your support can follow up so i think w is really good second and then level three i'm always getting trapped third i think it's the best uh it's basically your only survival tool against the jungler usually when i get the trap i just throw it in a river so it's gonna be faster off cooldown and when you get it at three instead of four and the q damage wouldn't really matter here so q w e is my skill order early on and then q max first and then w is my second max ability i tried out e for a bit as well but I think W is just strictly better because of how long they get rooted in place, which is basically your ability to follow up on people. Like someone else hits someone with a random ability, like say you have a quirky mid, he shoots a rocket, and you're good enough to hit your W, they're going to get rooted for 1.75 seconds instead of 0.75. And then your traps are really just like a, a wonky ability in the first place. It has good base damage in, from just one point, and even though... You can like stack traps and try and one shot someone if you max it. It's just not very practical. Whereas W has a has a ton of uses that makes it a better second max. So for Jin, uh, you start out with Thorns Blade. There's no real choice here. Uh, and you're gonna bum rush IE first. I think it's his best item. There is the other option of Essence Reaver, which is okay, but I don't really like CDR that much on Jin. It's just kind of a weird stat because you want your autos to hit really hard. And then uh, IE also works towards your ulti's fourth hit doing more damage. And you crit 
every single four hits. So it's pretty bad to not get IE first. And if you go Essence Hero first, that means you're going to want Rapid Fire Cannon second, which delays your IE third even more. And it's just, it seems way worse to me. So I like IE first into Rapid Fire. Uh, Swifty's Boots, I think is the best choice here, not even close. Maybe on 6.3, where Swifties are nerfed, Berserkers might be a little bit better, but for now, Swifties is just too good to pass up. They're super cheap, and how they give you so much ability to get away from all the other guys with Swifties that it's completely necessary. So, uh, you'll have IE, Rapid Fire Cannon, Swifties, and then, uh, third item is a little bit up in the air. It kind of just depends on the enemy team comp. If they have a bunch of magic damage that isn't really cleansable, you can go Maw of Amortis. Uh, if they have a bunch of magic damage that is cleansable, you can go Mercurial Scimitar. That's usually a pretty good one. Uh, if they have tons of armor, they need to penetrate Lord Dominic's. If they have nothing that you really want to, no armor penetration that you need, there's no magic damage that's really scaring you, like maybe there's not fed enough, you can go Bloodthirster. That's always a really good choice. And then you could go Essence Weaver here. I haven't actually done that yet because every, every other single item has been like a better option. So it's usually going to be one of the other ones. And if you want to, I guess, screw around Essence Weaver would be okay there. But fourth item is basically whichever one of those you didn't really get already. And it's pretty good build overall. It's just the most AD possible. I think only one attack speed is probably the best. I, I like only one attack speed on every single AD carry, but Jin especially just because of how much AD he gets from raw AD rather than the attack speed. Uh, I think you want, the reason you want rapid fire second is the attack speed helps out your uh, mobility when you crit, because that's what it scales off of. And I think that's necessary because otherwise when you're trying to build, like say you went SMT for a second, you're not going to be mo mobile at all and you're going to get caught out. But with Rapid Fire, you're going to get the extra range to help you hit to get around the fight faster. You're going to have just the tons of extra move speed when you do crit. It's super necessary, and you get the passive move speed on Rapid Fire. So I think it's the best second item, and uh, Swifties is definitely the best boot. So I think Swifties is generally best uh, whenever you can after BF Sword. BF Sword's your most ideal buy, and you can get it if you have 800 gold. If you already have BF Sword and Pickaxe, uh, it's just better than a Crit Cloak because of how much mobility it provides, how much safety you get, how much you can chase people down. It's just the better buy there. And then usually you usually want to get it before you finish your Rapid Fire. Uh, there's a few certain cases where you don't want to finish it though. Like say you have IE and you have Tier 1 Boot and you have 1300 Gold, getting a Zeal is better there. But if you had uh, like 900 Gold, instead of the Dagger and Brawler's Glove, you get Swifties for sure. Like you, you need that mobility because of how much how much everyone else has in the game, like how many Swifty boots they have, they're always gonna have it. So you not having it is gonna be a huge downside and you need to get them as fast as possible. Uh, not screwing up your course. Thank you for watching this basic champ guide on Jin. Make sure to check out the rest of the guides here over at lawclass.com.